In this video, we will look at the capacitive touch and button controls found on the Bose noise canceling headphones 700UC. To begin, your Bose noise canceling headphones 700UC come pre paired with the Bose USB Link Bluetooth module for plug and play operation. The controls are mapped for UC conferencing use with Microsoft Teams, Google Meet, and other UC client applications. We call this UC mode because this allows you to interact with calls and meetings using the headphones controls when connected to the USB link. You can easily change volume, play and pause media, skip forward, skip backward, and adjust noise cancellation level. Plus, you get conferencing control such as accept and end calls, mute your microphone, and the option to interact with Microsoft Teams notifications. Let's now look at how these actions are performed, starting with the touch controls that use the capacitive touch area on the right ear cup. Volume control is handled by swiping vertically up or down on the right ear cup. Swiping up will increase the volume setting, and swiping down will decrease it. Make sure that you do not hold your finger on the ear cup just simply start and end your swipe. To play and pause media, simply double tap the right ear cup directly on the Bose logo. These actions will play and pause any media that is currently playing on your computer. And the last media control is to skip forward and backward. Swipe the right ear cup forward to skip your media forward and swipe in the opposite direction to skip backwards. The actual action of the skip will depend on your media application. For example, in certain apps, skipping while listening to the music will go to the next or previous track, but while listening to a podcast, you can skip 15 seconds forward or backward. To change the noise cancellation level, press the button behind the left ear cup. This button will cycle between your favorite noise cancellation levels configured within the Bose Music app. Press and hold this button to enter conversation mode which will turn the noise cancellation to zero and pause any media playing to allow for conversation. To exit this mode, simply press the button again. For conferencing controls, a common use case will be to mute and unmute the headphone's microphone. When in a call, touch and hold the right ear cup until you hear a chime. Your status in your UC platform will turn to a muted state. To unmute, simply touch and hold again until you hear a chime and your status will be changed to unmuted. Make sure to avoid tapping before holding as this may be interpreted as a double tap which will end your call. To answer a call, double tap on the right ear cup. This is a quick double tap. When ready to end the call or leave a meeting, double tap on the right ear cup in the same spot. The final control is the Microsoft Teams Voice Assistant button. When actively connected to the USB link and pressed, this button will bring the Teams application into focus on a Windows PC. On a Mac, it will open the Teams application. This button can also be used to respond to Teams notifications. It will bring you to a waiting screen when pressed after receiving a meeting start reminder notification. It can also open the correct Teams chat window when a chat notification appears. This concludes how to use the controls when the Bose noise canceling headphone 700 UC are in their default UC mode. Here is a chart showing the controls. But wait, there is more great news to share. The Bose headphone 700 UC can operate in combination mode when enabled in the Bose Music app. When combination mode is enabled and the Bose headphone 700 UC are connected to the USB link, the controls are mapped for UC use with Microsoft Teams. When the USB link is not connected, the controls will operate like our currently best-selling Headphones 700. These changes include the Voice Assistant button, Call Mute and Unmute, and to announce your battery level or enable disable your Voice Assistant. The media playback controls do not change when connected to a mobile device in combination mode. To activate your Voice Assistant in combination mode, simply press Teams Voice Assistant button. To mute and unmute your microphone in a call, press the Teams Voice Assistant button while in a call. And the final function is to enable and disable the Voice Assistant or announce the battery level. This functionality is toggled within the Bose Music app. Here's the chart again to show both operation modes. 
Please note, when combination mode is enabled and you are actively connected to both the USB link and a mobile device, the UC mode controls will take priority. Well, thank you for watching, and be sure to check out our other Bose Noise Cancelling Headphone 700 UC tutorials. If you enjoyed this video, visit the Bose Professional Online Learning Center to discover more.